Hey, this is Scott of DarkviewBonsai.com. Today I want to show you another excursion video. In this case, two friends and I went to do some star trail photos. We also did some light painting a little bit. So I'll show you those pictures in a moment. I was taking the photos with my K5 at the time and 14mm f2.8 lens. Uh, also with a slick tripod, my largest one, pretty solid has a ball head on it. So the first photo here, this was with the flashlight. Like I said, I was trying to do a little bit of light painting type stuff with long exposures. This is a Coleman Max flashlight and it has three different co colors. It's got the blue, it also has red. Of course, just standard white light. That's pretty fun to try out. In this case, this photo was uh, 30 seconds, ISO 80, f2.8. See some blur, of course, but interesting photo. This one here, my friend set the scene up. This was his reflector that you can see in the first photo right here. And he threw it across the screen with a 15 second exposure. It's pretty interesting with the shafts of reflectance. This one here, probably one of the better Star Trail photos that I took at the time. This one, this one was 344 seconds. I had my wireless, I mean, I had my wired remote. I was just holding the button down for any length of time, no specific time, really. And this is how it turned out. So to get a really, really long star trail, you'd have to do extremely long exposure, and do a whole number of images and then stack them together. So this was probably about the extent of star trails that I got that day. You can also see two trails from some type of plane or helicopter. This one here, Similar photo, but the editing or something, the gradation between colors is not good in this picture for whatever reason. This one here, just dark and boring. Another one, long exposure. I kind of like how he looks here, but then there's too many sets of movement. Not too exciting. So this one's kind of halfway between uh, Star Trail and that. You know, you can see some of the stars are moving a little bit. This one was kind of interesting again with the blue LED light. Although only half of me is uh, showing up with the long exposure. So it's pretty fun to try this type of more experimental photography. I don't often do it, but it's still pretty fun to try out. So that's a quick little photo set. Maybe you should try some star trails in the future if you got a tripod and a camera that does bulb mode, which is the main one where you just hold the shutter release down, or if you have a better the better thing to do is use a wired remote shutter release and then you can hold it down or hold it down and lock it into place depending on your... Uh, I actually have mine here. So this is the wired release. It's got the Pentax specific connector and on the shutter release button you can push it down and then lock it into place and then you just unlock it. Pretty easy. So that's it. Thanks.